I want you to know that no matter where you are in life, no matter how low you have sunk, no matter how bleak your situation, this is not the end. This is not the end of your story. This is not the final chapter of your life. I know it may be hard right now, but if you just hang in there, stick it out, stay with me for a little while, you will find that this tough moment will pass. And if you are committed to using this pain, using it to build your character, finding a greater meaning for the pain, you will find that in time, you can turn your life around and help others going through the same struggles. The world right now is in the middle of a mental health crisis. It's estimated almost half the population suffers from depression at some stage throughout their life. Rather than join the queue, it's important we learn why we get down and then how we can change it. Because believe it or not, we create our own negative feelings and we can also ensure that we turn our lives around and be a positive change for others. The reason anyone gets depressed always comes down to the consistent thoughts we think and the consistent beliefs we hold. Let me say that again. The reason anyone gets depressed always comes down to the consistent thoughts we think and the consistent beliefs we hold. The point here is that anyone that is depressed is so because there is an external factor that didn't materialize in their life. They have lost something outside of their control or don't have something that is out of their control. In school, we are taught how to get a job, but no one teaches us how to live in a state of happiness. No one teaches us how important our conscious and unconscious thoughts and associations are. Is our happiness not worth more than a job? Yes, it is. And before you say happiness won't pay my bills, happiness will pay your bills. When you realize you will be ten times more energized, focused, and take positive action in your life, when you first choose to develop yourself as a priority, and then get to the stuff of the world. I've seen some people who many would consider to have it all in their life because they thought they were not good enough. A thought, a belief within them, told them they were not worthy. These people that many were jealous of, many envious of, were not good enough. You must value yourself enough to take the time every single day to work on you, to engage in something that will ensure you are a positive influence on the world. This, of course, doesn't mean life will suddenly be perfect. The same life challenges will show up, but if your mind is strong, if your mind is at peace, your reaction to the challenging times will be very different. Your reaction will be, how can I make this work? Not why is this happening to me? And then others will look to you, not with pity, but with hope. Because your strength will become their hope, their strength. You really can be that powerful. You can ditch the victim story. You can leave the pain behind and focus on how you will react next. How you will react positively. Read. Read all you can read to get your mind in a positive place. Take steps to ensure you will be in a better position next time. Whatever pain you are suffering from, how you can ensure it won't show again. Take little steps and soon you will be at the top of the staircase. Don't give up. You are worthy. You are more than worthy. You deserve to experience how great life can be, and you owe it to the world to be that positive change for others, to inspire others who will look to you and say, he did it, she did it, and I can do it too.